YouTube, what's good? It's your boy DJ coming back to y'all with another video. You know, continuing this vlog off from the last video where I told y'all I had a new plan. Everything is popping off. You know, things is going uphill for your boy. And you know, I'm just glad to bring y'all along with the experience. So yeah, if you're new to the channel, I'm gonna go ahead and just knock this out the way. Go ahead and sub to your boy for fucking content. And you know, like the video if you like it, check out all my other previous videos and all that good shit. But yeah, as stated, like I said, I'm here with the truck. Y'all can hear it in the background. And let me go ahead and get it in. Yeah, like I said, your boy is with CRSC. We are at least op. In other words, we choose what we want to do. Well, to an extent. <laughs> but yeah, nah. That's the boy right there. That's the truck that I'm gonna be paying on, that we gonna be driving in, you know, doing our own loads and stuff. But I look forward to this experience, man. It's just something different. Like I said, I, I got tired of the company side. That's not for me. I like to make my own calls and I'm trying to be my own business person, you feel me? So this is a good move for me because I, I know other people got their situation where they can go and buy a truck outright and shit. Not me, but this isn't a bad approach. Like I said, CRST has a good ass lease purchase program and I give them props to the things that I learned and heard about. So yeah, but that is the new boy coming to the channel and all that good shit. So yeah, I hope y'all like it. I'm gonna give y'all an overview of the inside, let y'all see the inside, give y'all a little outside view of it. The truck is a 2022 also, 2022 freight, uh, freight liner. It has 360,000 miles, which isn't bad for a truck, you know, uh, especially how it's upkept. I looked over it already and it's looked like it's been upkept nicely, but like I said, I'm going to show y'all some things too, let y'all see the truck outside and in and all that. And But first, let me go ahead and I'm going to go get it to a truck stop so we can uh, park it and clean. I'm a big neat freak, bro. I'm cleaning the hell out of this truck. Even though it was already clean, I got to do my little touch to it, you feel me? So we're gonna get it over to the truck stop and go ahead and clean it up and shit. And I'll do, like I said, a video, or I'm gonna keep this video going. I'm gonna keep this video going and get y'all an overview of the inside and out of it. So let me go ahead and get over to the truck stop, y'all. I hope y'all are enjoying the video and just stay tuned for more. Yeah, let's go ahead and get it over there. YouTube I hope y'all can hear me over the loud truck but yeah here's the truck right here like I said I'm gonna get y'all an outside view of it and I'm gonna get y'all an inside view of it just let y'all see what we're working with and uh yeah I hope y'all like the truck like I said it's a 2022 Freightliner and it's real nice it's actually nice I've driven Freightliners before um back when I was a Swift nice truck this one is actually going to be paid to be mine, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it. But yeah, let me go ahead and get y'all a rundown on the outside and shit. Alright, so great aerodynamic look as you can see. <laughs> this is a Freightliner, y'all know how they, you know, y'all know how they look. But yeah, LED lights. RST. I got an issue with the window up there. I got to get fixed, but small issue. Catwalk can probably get a new catwalk. I don't know why that's bent like that, but it is what it is they put new tires all around on here and all the internals look good brakes look real good
Yeah, everything was pretty much straightforward for a truck that got 360,000 miles, even though, like I said, that's not a lot. Um, the truck looked damn near brand new. Yeah, so pretty basic, you know. Um, like I said, the truck is uh, 360,000 miles, 2022, but really not no damage or nothing to it. Yeah, really not no damage or nothing to it. Inside was kind of dirty a little bit, but it ain't nothing that I would complain about. Like, it sucked, but it wasn't too sucky. I can clean it, you know, I'll put my little touch to it like I was telling y'all before. So it is what it is. But yeah, so cleaning the inside. Once the inside's clean, I'm gonna give y'all a little rundown of the inside, let y'all see what it look like in there. And then from there, shit, we'll end the video after I do that, and I'll make another video on my first run in this truck. So again, don't think, I'm not brand new to trucking. This is, I'm five years in doing this, but I'm doing some new shit lease purchase operator type shit, you know, I'm trying to pay for this truck, paying for this truck to make it officially mine and have my first truck, and then from there, I'll probably get like two, two to five more trucks that I'll let operate, you know, have my own drivers operate them, but I'm not looking to be like a big fleet out here like Swift or like CRSC, I'm just trying to have like a few trucks that I'll let operate, but I got plans to do things still kind of with trucking, but not fully with trucking, if you get what I'm saying. Like, it's, I'll explain them plans later on down the road. I don't want to say them now because I don't want, you know, too many people jacking my idea. But anyways, yeah, this the new baby. And he finna be on the road pretty much soon. I might try to see if I get a load tomorrow. It all just depends. I'm. I'm more of the person to make sure my shit is clean, ready to go, everything's taken care of before I get on the road. So, if y'all see me do this, this is me just uh, fixing my beard. I see it's kind of lopsided. <laughs> but yeah, so, we're gonna work on cleaning the truck and all that, see how we feel tomorrow. We still got things we gotta do with it. I'll leave Sunday if there's loads. But first come first, you know, clean the truck, and then make sure we got rest and drive. So once all that's good, then we'll go ahead and start making them money because the payment's gonna start soon. <laughs> so yeah, man, my beer look lopsided, gang, man. I don't know what the fuck's going on. But yeah, so we'll get in the inside of the truck once I get this shit, you know, cleaned on the inside. I don't want y'all to see it until it's ready on the inside. Yeah, I got y'all. Yo, what's up YouTube? So, this is another day. Uh, I know I fell asleep <laughs> after cleaning the truck last night. I was so fucking tired, bro. I didn't have much sleep before that. So, I had to go ahead and get me some sleep. But, I haven't forgot, like I said, I'm still gonna show y'all the inside of the truck. Let y'all get that experience of it. But, right now, I'm gonna go take a shower. We're gonna go drive out to this Loves. It's not too far from where we at. We'll go take a shower. But yeah, I needed that sleep bad, bro. I was so fucking tired. Got most of the truck clean though. Just got a little bit more to do until it's to my liking. And yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and hit this shower. I'm gonna get back to y'all when we get up there. And uh, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna still show y'all the truck once we finish. Hopefully we get finished with it today. But yeah, let's go ahead and get to the shower. Go loves. Get you right with the shower every time. 
But yeah, y'all, went ahead and took my shower. I feel so much better right now. Like, I needed that shower after the past two days. Shit's been kind of busy, hectic, you know, getting the whole business set up, cleaning up the truck and shit. Like like I said, I'm a clean freak, so cleaning up that truck is a, it's a process for me. So, but yeah, nah, I'm, I feel good now. I only got a little bit of things to clean left on the, um, on the truck we gonna do that when we get back but we're gonna go get something to eat from one of my spots cracker barrel if you've never been take your ass there and eat some food the pancakes is bomb um but yeah we're gonna probably go there and get some food head back to the truck and go ahead and get shit cleaned up because i think like i said earlier i'm gonna try to get a load and either leave it on tomorrow or the latest monday just uh trying to make some money so we can go ahead and start getting this business going you know but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and get back to y'all when I get back to the truck. Like I said, I'm still getting y'all that tour on the inside. I know I showed y'all the outside. We're going to do the inside once I'm finished cleaning it. So I'll catch y'all when I get there. Yeah. All right, YouTube. So we're here returning our car, rental car that we've been using the past few days. I'm going to miss this car, though. Bye-bye, Charger. It was nice having you. All right. So I'm finna go ahead and Uber back to the truck and try to get us a load for tomorrow. You good? Yeah, I'll just leave. I'll just keep you. Oh, okay. Yeah, get us a load heading back or get us a load going west or something so we can go ahead and start making this money. But yeah, that's it for the charger. It was a V6, so it wasn't nothing special. <laughs> but it was fun though. I, I had my fun with it. But yeah, get back to y'all when I get to the truck. Well, we sitting here waiting for the Uber. Thank you for coming around. Nah, that ain't him, but he should be the next car probably. Huh. It might be him right there, I see the lights. It's like 600 feet red. We just wait right here, just wait right here. Yeah, finna hop in this Uber. Get back to the truck. Yeah, feel me. By the way, while I'm got y'all, if y'all enjoying the video, go ahead and like and all that good shit that y'all do to the videos. You know, let me know that you like it. Like I said, we still giving this vlog try, you know, a go. So I hope y'all like it. Let me know. Give me feedback on how this shit should work. But yeah, finna get in the Uber right now. You kind. All right, let's get to the truck. Alright man, Thank you. appreciate, appreciate you. you. Have a good one and drive safe. Big boy, you kind. Yo, YouTube, I'm back at y'all with this video to give you guys a little overview of the inside of the truck. Nothing fancy or nothing like that, you know, but just a little quick overview of what it looked like in here in my 2022 Freightliner. Um, let me go ahead and let y'all see real quick. Oh yeah, storage is real good in this truck. Got decent sized cabinets. I used to drive a Volvo and believe it or not, this is a little bit more spacious than well, the 760 that I was in with FedEx. The 860 is better, but yeah, good storage. I got a refrigerator too. You know, we can put our food up in there. Decent size too. Bed. Like I said, mark that up there. More good storage up front. Real decent size cubby back here to have a lot of shit up there. You feel me? Dash is nice and driver oriented facing this way i love freight liners like i said um i drove volvos before kenworths are nice they're real big but freight liners look small on the outside but they're not really that small believe it or not but yeah just a little quick overview of that y'all yeah so it's nothing really in depth to go into you know as far as showing y'all the truck on the inside um or the outside you know it's, it's a semi so you know that's that's all I can really say, but yeah, as far as like this being my new truck, you know, that I'm paying on, 
yeah this is my truck that I'm paying on um, it's gonna I'm gonna actually pay it off like I said being the lease purchase so I got payments up to a certain amount of time I don't have to stick with the payments and I can leave whenever I want without any repercussions or anything but I'm gonna pay this truck off and keep it so y'all will see this truck a lot on my channel um, when I'm vlogging whether I'm on the road or if I'm home or whatever this is technically vehicle number two because I plan on keeping this shit and we're gonna grind hard to make sure it stays that way so yeah this is gonna be my new baby don't know if I'm gonna name it or not I'm kind of getting tired of the whole name and vehicles thing but yeah um I love it I'm very happy with this and I'm gonna go ahead and grind hard I'm gonna try to get like I said a load tomorrow or Monday depending on if I can get somebody to give me something um, I'm having issues with my load board where I to where I can see it I gotta wait till that gets fixed and then I'll be booking my own loads but until then I gotta get a planner to get me something but um yeah so I will do another video and it'll be a video of y'all getting to see my first day as a lease purchase operator you know first load and um yeah from there we'll just uh see how these vlog style videos go like i said i'm gonna get better at it this is kind of basic um i don't know you know just my my first time actually doing vlog styles like this so i hope you guys do enjoy it um be sure to leave feedback in the comments you know let me know how y'all feel about them um i am gonna vlog more but let me know what i could do better as a vlogger um like i told y'all before my channel ain't based on one thing this is a lifestyle channel so it's gonna be me doing videos of things that i love to do i let y'all see a lot of the things that i love to do um shit one of these days i'm gonna go to the range and shoot my shotgun that i've i've had for over three four years now i think i haven't had the chance to take it to the range yet but i'm gonna go take it to the range and i'm gonna record that but yeah so lifestyle channel we doing things over here my way and I hope you guys enjoy the view, the insight on my life as I do this. And yeah, we're just gonna keep going out from here, y'all. Like I said, 2023, I'm gonna start uploading a lot more now. We're gonna get, we getting on vlogger status now. So yeah, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Uh, stay tuned for the next one where, like I said, we'll be doing our first load. So I hope y'all enjoyed it. Have a blessed day, blessed safe day. And, you know, just stay up. Too tough game. You know, we go ahead and do this thing. All right, y'all. Be easy. All right.